Hey friend, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, I've got the upper hand. Upper Hand IPA is a 7% IPA from Upper Hand Brewery in Escanaba, Michigan. Okay, so what's the deal with Upper Hand Brewery, you may be asking yourself. They're a division of Bell's founded by Larry Bell himself. They're completely separate from Bell's, brewing different stuff than Bell's does, and it's only available in the UP, Northern Wisconsin, and Minnesota. Occasionally, however, they do sell it through the general store in Kalamazoo, and that's where viewer Paul Lambricks picked it up, and he sent it to me, and here it is. If you have any beers like that that you'd like to see me review, definitely reach out. We'll let we'll we'll figure something out. We'll get it here on the channel. So with that being said, let's take a look at the label here and then we'll check out that beer. Fun fact, Numano Ultra Microscopic Silico Volcano Coniosis is the longest common word in the English language. Ask me what it means sometimes. So this can is, uh, it, it says Upper Hand here, established 2014, Upper Hand Brewery, and this is their IPA across the bottom. It says Tropical Piney India Pale Ale, and then across the top it has the coordinates, 45.7172 North, 87.0891 West, which using my geographic mind let's tells me that that is the location in coordinates for upper hand brewery in escanaba and the can is really kind of minimal it has these trees in the background the ipa wording is like this big crest it's really up front lets you know it's an ipa and then on the side here it says brewed and canned by upper hand brewery escanaba michigan a division of bell's brewery incorporated this is seven percent by volume has a shelf life of six months so uh, I don't think this is six months old. This is packaged on 9-18-2018, which is weird because the the numbering is kind of cut off and then it's on the side. It's it's like an error with the actual uh, printing on the bottom, but enough about that. We're going to grab a tulip here. And I'm going to go ahead and crack this open and get it in the glass. But first, got to pop it. So let's give it a scent. I don't know much about the hops that are used in this. I didn't get that in my research. It is kind of, it does have a little bit of a tropical scent though. Hmm. Well, I'm ready to pour it and we'll see what it looks like here in the glass. Wow, it's a lot darker than I was expecting. It's a kind of a bit amber coming out of the can, collecting to be a nice kind of caramel. It almost has um, the coloration of a two-hearted and has a really nice thick, at least one finger of head here. Bubbles are nice and compact around the top, but around the sides of the glass, they're very large, very kind of soapy bubbles. And we'll hold it up to the light here. It's a little bit, let me just make sure, it's not condensation, it's a little bit unfiltered, a little bit hazy. I can see my fingers kind of waving here in front of the light, but it is, uh, it's not super clear. It has a nice amount of carbonation coming up from the bottom though. You can see a little bit of sediment floating in there, tiny bit. Let's put a better nose on it here. And I ha actually, I smelled a little bit of tropical scent coming out of the can itself, but in the glass here, it smells a little bit more piney. Hmm. I do st still pick up a little bit of that tropical kind of scent, though. It has a little bit of a tinge of sweetness to the scent, so I'm ready to go ahead and dive right in. Cheers. Yeah, it's got a really nice sweetness up front. Surprise, again, I'm really surprised at how sweet this is. I wasn't expecting it to be like this. I was expecting it to be more kind of blow your face off West Coast uh, style IPA, but it's not really super West Coasty. It's got a really nice, just sweet taste almost throughout. Right, so up front, it's got a really nice sweetness, just kind of hangs out there. I almost get this, I just get the faintest hint, the slightest tease of maltiness in there, and then it kind of subsides with a little bit more of a tropical kind of taste at the end. I'm not picking up exactly what flavors those are though, and. If there is any bitterness in this, it's in the very, very, very tail end, the really long tail uh, in the aftertaste. And there's just a hint of piney kind of bitterness in there, but not much.
Again, I talk like an old man about the olden days when a, you know, a low ABV beer would be like, you know, between four and 5%, a high ABV beer in, in craft breweries would be like a 7%. Now, this is a 7% beer and I don't taste 7% in here. So it's masked really well. Uh, I think 7% at one point could be really dangerous, but I think because we've all become so used to 7% being kind of like the common, you know, mid, mid ABV mark that it's not so bad, but as I kind of talk and, and I kind of, you know, sit on it for a little bit, I can, I get a little bit more of that piney bitterness in the aftertaste, but it kind of lingers there. It's something that you kind of have to let and let sit. Uh, if you're sitting and you're, you're tossing this back or you're, you're frequently drinking it, I'm, I'm a type of person that if you put the beer in front of me, I just got to keep drinking it till it's gone. Uh, that's generally how I operate. If that's the way that you work, you're not gonna get a lot of that piney bitterness out of it. But again, as I kind of let it sit in my mouth and I talk and I kind of, you know, think about it a little bit, a more, more of that pininess kind of works its way through a little bit more of kind of like a piney, really slight resinous quality comes through and a little bit more of a malty kind of taste comes through as well. So I'm, I'm really digging that. And that kind of makes me sad because this is gonna be so difficult for me to get more of these to try because I actually really like this. I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect. Again, I thought it was going to be more of like a West Coast IPA, really bitter, really strong piney notes to it, but the, the pininess is really subtle. And it just kind of works its way through there. Uh, you know, you have to work for it, but it, it slowly works its way to the surface and your tongue really starts to pick up on it after that. If there are any viewers that are in the UP or like I said, uh, Northern Wisconsin, Minnesota, get in touch with me because I'd love to get my hands on more stuff from upper hand. This is really quality stuff and, and it, it definitely has markings of quality like most Bell stuff has. All right, friends, that has been Upper Hand IPA from Upper Hand Brewery. Have you gotten a chance to try any of the stuff from Upper Hand? Let me know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, why not like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm here talking Michigan beer, and the best part is it's absolutely free to viewers just like you. You can also find links to my social media, some merch, a custom Tiku glass, links to all the gears I use on these videos, and a link to my blog at GiraffeTherapy.com. So until next time, I'm Sean from Giraffe Therapy. Thanks for stopping by, and remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries, wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for watching. Cheers.